What is going on YouTube friends and family? Trade Mode James here, Zone Trading Group. Today in this video, we're going to talk about Microvision's price action, where I think we're headed late this week and early next week, and really just try to give you guys a nice little confirmation bias in this video because everything looks super freaking bullish, all right? Before I do that, as always, please hit the like button. I'm trying to get 100 likes per video, and I'm really trying to hit 5,000 subscribers, all right? We're on the way. It's moving slowly, but we are creeping up on that number. Please smash that subscribe button if you find any value in my content. I give a lot of free knowledge away here uh, on my channel, things that have taken me years and years and years, almost a decade to learn. So if you find value here, please hit that subscribe button. All right. All right. Let's get right into this video. Let's get it. All right, guys. So the first thing I want to talk about is really just fear and retracements. All right. Everyone seems to be very worried on on days and weeks where we retrace. Uh, but the thing is, you got to understand you're gonna have retracements, all right? Price does not just go up forever. That's not how it works. This is all psychology and market makers combined moving the price up and down, all right? So the good news uh, is that from the bottom here at 250 back on May 12th, uh, let's go ahead and just go through this, all right? We had a nasty rip, which I called, by the way, up to about $4.12-ish, all right? From that point, we did a golden zone retracement, all right? We pull our fib tool here. Uh, we did a literal cookie cutter perfect golden zone retracement all right let's move the fib tool here uh let me move this real quick oops there we go uh now we'll make this a golden zone now a golden zone is a 50 to 61.8 percent retracement all right standard bullish retracement uh you know and that's just what happened here now if we pull the fib again from the bottom of that move to the top of this move the higher high and the higher low all right we have another golden zone retracement all right we draw this in you guys can see it here perfectly uh, price came up to about 440 and then retraced back down about 50 percent on the dot to 374 and then made another higher high now if we pull the, the fib tool from the bottom of that move to the top of this new move uh, you're going to see another golden zone retracement all right another 50 to 61.8 percent retracement although this one uh, actually did break the bottom come down about 71 percent and tested that trend line here okay so we got to jump off that too now all these golden zone retracements are super bullish, right? We never broke the golden zone, really, except for this one. And we did, you know, jump back up with some nice bullish movement as soon as we hit this trend line. So a little variance in this one, but overall, uh, we've had golden zone retracements. Now, what would make you think that this next move wouldn't do it? Oh, yeah, it did. Bottom to top, all right? Golden zone retracement right here. Today, we closed with some nice rejection. Uh, we didn't get necessarily back above this golden zone, uh, but we do have some nice you know, rejection that looks like it might tomorrow reject and maybe it comes down a little more. Maybe tomorrow we, we you know, we, we, we wither down a little more and come back down like this one did and test the trend line somewhere around 488 uh, to 495, something like that. Maybe it just comes to five dollars. I don't know. But right now we're in a golden zone and the last four, three or four times we've, we've been in a golden zone, we've made higher highs and higher lows out of it. So. You know, everything looks really good as far as these Fibonacci retracements go. Uh, you can see it right here on the screen. I explained it very, very basic and thoroughly to you guys. These retracements have to happen for us to make higher highs, all right? And it just looks super bullish. We haven't had not much variance in these golden zones, except for this one. So also, I want to talk about this supply zone, all right? Uh, this supply zone has been pretty tough uh, for us, same as that $4 one was pretty tough. Uh, we found the supply zone on the daily time frame over here. So since then, uh, we've had one two, uh, three, and then four test points on this supply zone where we've rejected out, all right? Uh, and that leads me to believe that maybe it's drying up. Uh, you know, price has not made a lower low yet. So until we get below this previous lower low, which would be around 430, uh, until we get below this level about right here, I'm not really worrying uh, that we're going to be coming down much until that happens. If that does happen, if we do break 430, then there's probably going to be some potential downside. In fact, you know, a little bit that we might come down, you know, three, three bucks, two fifty, again. who knows until that happens. We can't really talk about it because all my predictions and everything I know about price action, I need confirmations, right? So I personally think we're going to make our way back up to the supply zone again at some point next week. And either we're going to test and reject and make a higher high and a higher low. So we might come up and do something like this close with a higher high, come down to the trend line, making a higher low, all right? And then we can keep, you know, stair-stepping our way until we get above it. That's kind of what I think is going to happen, just based off 
you know, the internals of the stock, everything going on, uh, you know, market kind of seeming like maybe it's balancing out just a little bit. Uh, you know, these small mid cap stocks have had quite a run in the last couple weeks and, you know, month or so. Uh, so it leads me to believe that maybe we will get above this zone. Now, that's that supply zone. If we get above that, the next real level up is going to be over seven dollars. All right. It's the daily. The daily structure level is going to be about right here. All right. Somewhere in this zone right here that goes from about uh, 692 to about 725. That is going to be our next real level of resistance because if we look here this is a supply zone all right price you know tanked down it came back up retested structure here and then you know we had aggressive selling all the way down to the bottom at 261. so i know that this will be another zone that's hard to get above now like i said everything is looking super bullish we have made a higher high on the daily right the previous high closed as 556 back on march 29th our recent high closed at 577 578 on August 4th. All right. So like I said, all these retracements are healthy. Everything looks super bullish. You know, uh, let me move these trend lines. We'll talk about this trend line real quick. Let me remove these golden zones real fast. Uh, we'll talk about what can happen with the trend line real quick. So uh, these trend lines look nice too. All right. We have our outer trend line here and we have our inner trend line here. Okay. If price uh, does break this inner trend line, it's almost like I would say 95% sure we're going to test the outer trend line. Luckily for us, that isn't very you know, wide of a price range, right? It's not too far. So if it broke here uh, at 485, maybe it comes down and tests 450, 445, something like that. So that's usually how it works in price action. If the inner trend line gets broke, the outer trend line gets tested. But even so, we could still make a higher low, even if we did test this outer trend line. We would just have to close above 433. All right, so like I said, until these things happen, there's really not much to say about it, but these are some things that could happen, you know, if we break the inner trend line, if we fall out of supply, if we get above supply, right? These are all confirmation that we need in order to predict where price could or could not go. But overall, everything looks super bullish, all right? If we look at, let's look at the, the monthly real quick. I wanna show this to you guys, all right? Now, even on the monthly, uh, we haven't had one red month since May. Everything is every month has been green. Now, this month here, uh, we have had a lot of sell pressure off this candle. Uh, you know, there's been a lot. Now, if we did a golden zone retracement on the monthly, let's just say, for, for example, if we did a golden zone retracement on the monthly, that would bring price between 385 and 425, which still would not be the end of the world. I really wouldn't want to see us go below this 38 2 line, which happens to be sitting at structure around 466 on the monthly. I would not want to see price go below that, but it could happen and it wouldn't be the end of the world because we wouldn't have made a lower low, right? We would still be making a higher low. Uh, and, you know, like I said, these retracements have to happen. So the higher time frames look bullish the lower time frames look bullish it could be argued that we're just consolidating in between uh you know uh 615 and 250 which is a pretty wide range so and uh, like i said we wouldn't really need to get above 615 you know for us to feel comfortable that we're going to be making our way up here and we're not just consolidating on the higher time frames because if you look at this if we were to fall out of the supply zone i mean if i do a naked chart here if we if we were to fall out of the supply zone right here all right and then come back down to 251, what does it look like? It's just consolidation, right? We're just kind of bouncing in between uh, these, these levels, which are pretty wide. 250 to $6 is a pretty wide range. So I'm kind of hoping that doesn't happen. And for me to believe that it's not gonna happen, we need to get above 615, that supply, the top of that supply zone, and find support at that level where resistance once was. All right, that's really all there is to talk about, guys. I went through the price action, the golden zone retracements, the trend lines, the levels of structure we need to stay above. I would not worry, you guys, honestly, like honest to God, I wouldn't worry unless we got below 433. Then I would say maybe, maybe we're going to be consolidating a little bit longer and we might retest this zone. And if we do, guess what? That's just another buying opportunity for you and me. And I'm OK with it. I you know, I make jokes in Discord. I hope it goes back down to 250 so I can load the boat, blah, blah, blah. I don't really hope it does that. But if it does, I will be there ready with liquidity to add on to my position and get me over, you know, 10,000 shares. Hopefully I have 9,300 shares right now. Average of four dollars and sixty nine cents. I hope I do get the opportunity. But at the same time, I hope price keeps going up. So like I said, not worried about anything unless price breaks this level of structure at 433. Other than that, guys, I personally believe we're going to be retesting that supply zone again late this week, early next week, and hopefully we can get above it. If you guys like this content, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Like I said, I'm trying to hit 5,000 subs. If you made it this far, you definitely need to hit that subscribe button. If you want to join my trading group, zone trading group at gmail.com, send me the email and we will get you 
in their ASAP. Peace and love from my end. Micro mission to the moon. Tremo James signing out, guys. Have a great evening. Peace.